Rainmetal BAE Systems Land RBSL, has confirmed that the United Kingdom will supply Ukraine with 23 Scimitar II Malawi and Kwacha's armored reconnaissance vehicles. These vehicles were prepared for shipment to Ukraine in 32 days by field support representatives deployed in Germany. The Ukrainian army already has experience with the CVR T family of vehicles, which should facilitate the training and maintenance of the newly acquired Scimitar MK2S specifically. The Ukrainian army has been equipped with around 100 CVR TFV-101 vehicles, purchased through crowdfunding and refurbished in England before being delivered to Ukraine last March. Additionally, England delivered 35 FV-103 Spartans and 40 FV-104 Samaritans to Ukraine in 2022. Vehicles in the CVR T family were designed to be lightweight and highly mobile, making them ideal for reconnaissance and surveillance operations on the battlefield. The CVRT was the lead vehicle and fire support type in the Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance tracked, or CVR -T, family, which includes seven armored vehicles. The CVRT Scimitar II Malawian Quachas is equipped with a 30mm Rardin cannon and is intended for reconnaissance missions. It is known for its lightweight design and mobility. The vehicle's ammunition capacity includes 40 rounds, comprising a mix of shrapnel shells HESH, high explosive squash head, explosives, and smoke rounds. A coaxial 7.62mm machine gun is also included, with an ammunition supply of 3,000 rounds. The Scimitar II Malawi and Quachas has been reholed to offer improved mine blast protection for troops. The updated armor enhances resistance to both blasts and ballistics. New mine blast protection seating has been installed in every position across all variants. The new aluminum hull is specifically designed with mine blast protection in mind. This design not only mitigates common repairs required for the previous model but also extends the vehicle's service life, thereby reducing maintenance and life cycle costs. Additionally, the new hull features increased space, improving conditions for the crew.